This is why I believe Nicki Minaj is much more problematic than many of us realize. I am fully aware that Nicki Minaj's fan base is extremely loyal and do not want to hear about the concerning behaviors that need to be addressed. But I do not create my videos for anyone's comfort, I create them for awareness. So we're going to talk about it. While Nicki Minaj has had multiple problematic moments in her career, what I really want to talk about is who Nicki chooses to surround herself with. Let's start with Nicki's brother. In 2015, Nicki's brother, Jelani Miraj, was arrested for repeatedly R-wording his 11-year-old stepdaughter. There was physical evidence to support these allegations. The arrest took place not long after the victim's eight-year-old brother walked in and witnessed Jelani R-wording his sister. Jelani told his stepchildren that if they told anyone what was happening, he would have them sent away. Despite these horrific allegations, court documents showed that not only did Nikki post Jelani's $100,000 bail, she put two of her homes up as collateral. A few weeks after Jelani had been arrested, Nicki Minaj posted this picture with this caption on her Instagram. This post is still available on her Instagram feed today. Jelani was ultimately found guilty in 2017 and sentenced to 25 years in prison for his monstrous behavior. The next problematic person Nicki Minaj has chosen to align with is Takashi 69 While Takashi 69 has faced multiple legal issues in his career, one charge in particular stands out to me. In 2015, Takashi 69 pled guilty to essaying a 13-year-old child along with two other men, and then he proceeded to post a video of the encounter online. The 13-year-old victim was in seventh grade. In 2018, Takashi 69 was sentenced to two years in prison for a multitude of charges, including violating his probation for his SA case, but he was released early for feeding information about a gang he was affiliated with to the police. Despite this, Nicki Minaj made the decision to collab with 69 a total of three times. They released two songs together in 2018, and they released an additional track in 2020 after 6ix9ine was released from prison. Nicki Minaj very publicly defended her decision on Twitter. She has also very publicly defended and supported 6ix9ine. The last person I want to talk about is Nicki Minaj's husband and father of her child, Kenneth Petty. I've already posted an entire video about the woman who was R-worded by Kenneth Petty and how Nicki Minaj has been trying to silence her for years. In short, Kenneth Petty has a long history of violent criminal activity. Kenneth Petty has not only served time for our word, but he has also served time for killing a man in cold blood. Kenneth will be on the registry for the rest of his life for his actions. Those are three men who have harmed women and children and Nikki still makes the decision to align with them. If you want to support a woman who stands behind dangerous men, that is completely your choice and I will not stand in your way. But what I will not do is sweep horrific crimes under the rug and let them be forgotten.